Hey guys, welcome to The Daily Devo. My name's Caleb, let's dive into the word. Today we're continuing our series called The Devil is a Liar. And man, I hope this series has been a blessing to you. I hope you're sharing these videos with people in your life who need encouragement because the lies of the enemy are flying thick and fast these days. Today's verse is Nehemiah 8, uh, verse 10, the latter part of that verse, which reads, the joy of the Lord is your strength. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Today, we're debunking the lie that says you are weak. Now, right out of the gate, we have to get things straight here because apart from Christ, we are weak. We cannot sustain a life of eternal impact for a moment. We can't make enough good decisions to outweigh the bad ones. We can't win the battle for our hearts and minds by gritting our teeth. But as Christians, the same spirit who raised Christ from the dead is alive in us. And Romans 8.11 goes on to say that God gives life to our mortal bodies by this same spirit who lives in us. So right out of the gate, this is a mindset issue. Whatever we focus on is what becomes big in our minds. And Romans 8.6 says, the mind set on self is death, but the mind set on the spirit is life and peace. The devil wants to lie to you and say it's all about your own strength. Just keep focusing on yourself and how you can improve because he knows that leads to death. But there's another offer on the table here. It's to set your mind on the spirit. So when our verse of the day says, the joy of the Lord is your strength, it, it doesn't mean the joy of life is your strength or the joy of your accomplishments is your strength. No, the joy of the Lord is your strength. In essence, it's God himself. In Psalm 1611, David says, you have made known to me the path of life. In your presence, God, there is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures evermore. Friends, today God is inviting us to shift our focus off of ourselves and onto his spirit living in us, to meditate on his words, to taste and see that he is good, and to be overcome with the joy of his presence that is felt as strength in our innermost being. The joy of the Lord is this idea of an enduring contentment and satisfaction that is a direct result of resting in God's presence. It's Psalms 23 stuff. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. It's peace that passes understanding. It's perspective and resolve to endure through difficulty. Happiness is fleeting, but the joy of the Lord is a deep well whose source is God himself, so it never runs dry. When Jesus was offering this living water to the Samaritan woman in John chapter four, he said, whoever drinks of the water that I will give him will never be thirsty again. The water that I will give him will become in him a spring of water welling up to eternal life. The other day, our pool guy said, it's time to drain and refill our pool. Apparently, every once in a while, the water in a pool gets to a point where it can no longer stay regulated using chlorine and other chemicals. It needs to be completely drained and refilled with fresh water. I could have said, I actually like this water. I think we should just double up on the chemicals we're putting in here and let's stick with the water that we have. You and I do the same thing when we put confidence in our own strength. We, we think it's about trying harder to hang on to our own ability, our own fortitude, our own thought patterns and coping mechanisms. And all the while, the devil keeps lying to us saying, yeah, that's right, you better keep trying. This is your only hope. Just add some more chemicals, you'll be fine. But the pool of our life does not have to stay filled with the stagnant water of our own strength. There's another option. It's costly, it takes effort but we gotta pull the drain plug on our own strength. A life of surrender and submitting to God is a moment by moment, day by day practice. We gotta make room for that tap of living water to be turned on full blast because the result is true joy, contentment, peace, and strength. Friends, today, can we choose abiding over striving? Can we exchange striving in our own strength for abiding, making our home in the strength and love of God. It looks like simple surrender. God, I give that to you. I just wanna to react to my own strength right now, but show me what you see. 
strengthen me. Holy Spirit, lead me forward. There's a song called Lowest Place, and the lyrics say this. You said there would be joy in the laying down. You said there would be joy in the letting go. You said there would be joy in giving up my life. So I've got to get to the wells of joy. I've got to dig for the wells of joy. I've got to get to the wells of joy. I've got to get lower. May that be our anthem today. Thank <laughs> you.